More than 10 houses were gutted in a massive fire that broke out in Assam's Jorhat today. No casualties have been reported so far, while firefighting operations are still underway. According to reports, a fire broke out at Raja Maidam Road in Jorhat in the early morning hours of today and gradually engulfed a large residential compound in the city. Nearly a dozen houses have been badly damaged in the fire. However, no casualties have been reported so far. Further information is awaited. Manipur was rocked by two back-to-back -back earthquakes measuring 2.8 and 4.0 magnitude on the Richter scale, the National Center for Seismology reported. The first quake of magnitude 2.8 on the Richter scale hit the Senapati area of Manipur. The earthquake hit at a depth of 10 kilometers at 6.54 a.m. this morning. The second earthquake hit at a depth of 30 kilometers and tremors were felt at 10.19 a.m this morning. There are no reports of injuries or damages to buildings by the earthquakes that lasted a few seconds each time. According to seismologists, the northeastern region comes under Zone 5 on the seismic map, making the states susceptible to earthquakes. Zone 5 covers the areas with the highest risk of earthquakes. Tension along the state border between Nagaland and Assam remained high as volunteers from Assam side continued with their economic blockade on the vital Mariani Mogokchong Road since November 15. Several Assam based organizations imposed the blockade on Nagaland and Mariani Nagajanka Road in Jorhat district. Vehicles travelling to and from Nagaland were not allowed to cross the border between the two states. When contacted, Deputy Commissioner of Mogokchong Lima Wabang Jamir confirmed to Nagaland Post that the blockade at the interstate border continued till Friday. Even though the situation was tense, the Deputy Commissioner said there was no untoward incidents. On Friday, there was a commotion at Sutapila Chek Gate as people from neighbouring areas gathered at the gate. Over 50 volunteers of Surangkong Range Naga Youth Front also reached the spot. A meeting was held with the district administration and police officials at the Czech gate. It may be recalled that the issue escalated after Assam accused Nagaland of setting up a police camp inside Disoy Valley Reserve Forest on November 10. Days after Karbi Students Association led economic blockade on Nagaland was temporarily suspended, the association held a joint courtesy meet with the Dimapur Naga Students Union at Khatkhati in Assam on November 20th. During the meeting, the two organizations strongly warned that action would be taken against any individual trying to instigate the situation or the issue for their own personal gain. In a joint press release, Karbi Students Association President Bijoy Bey and Dimapur Naga Students Union President Serivile Angami also appealed to both the governments of Assam and Nagaland and Karbi Anglong Autonomous Council to take the border issue with paramount concern. The two student bodies said that since it was a courtesy meet, no resolution was made. However, Karbi Students Association and Dimapur Naga Students Union said they decided to work hand-in-hand -hand with peaceful means and to maintain strong and brotherhood bonding between the two brothers of Karbi and Nagas. It may be recalled that the Karbi Anglong based civil society organizations led by Karbi Students Association had temporarily suspended the indefinite economic blockade on Nagaland on the first day on November 17 and also submitted a six point charter of demands addressed to the Chief Minister of Assam. Two more COVID 19 related deaths, including that of a 66 year old doctor, took the fatality figure due to the pandemic to 106 and 173 fresh infections mounted the active case tally to 888, while 84 recoveries increased the number of recoveries to 10,158 in Meghalaya. Dr. Paitba Singkon, a 66-year-old doctor and a resident of Jowai in West Jaintia Hills, passed away at a private-run Woodland Hospital in Shillong on Thursday. He was the second physician to have succumbed to the viral infection in the state after the death of the first COVID-19 patient in Meghalaya, Dr. John L. Silo Rintatyang, in April this year. Director of Health Services Dr. Amanwar said that Dr. Sinkon was tested COVID-19 positive on being admitted at the hospital on Thursday night. Dr. Sinkon, however, passed away at 11.50 p.m. due to COVID-19 pneumonia with type 2 diabetes mellitus with hypertension, the medical officer said. 
Of the new cases detected, the senior medical officer said 97 were from East Kasi Hills District, 60 from West Garo Hills District, 8 from Southwest Garo Hills District, 4 from East Kasi Hills District, 2 from East Garo Hills District, and 1 each from Rebhoi District and Southwest Garo Hills District. Deepupar Naga Women Organization destroyed seized Indian made foreign liquor IMFL worth 6 lakhs approximately at Deepupar Village Council premises in Dimapur today. A brief program was held at the council hall before the liquor was dumped, where Deepupar Naga Women Organization chairperson Ajano Lotha maintained that the liquor and narcotics were confiscated within the village jurisdiction starting from November 5 to 20 from outlets and unclaimed ones. She maintained that during the tenure of three years, the organization has undertaken 54 cases related to seizure of liquor along with support of the village and youth organization. In line with the Nagaland Liquor Total Prohibition Act of 1989, Dipupar Village Council Chairman Gusui Shohe, while delivering short speech, said that it has become a vested interest business. He also spoke on how alcohol abuse and alcoholism within a family has become a problem destroying marriages or driver wedge between members of families. Mentioning about the importance of community participation, Shohei also informed that in the later days, if needed, the names of the investors who are part of the menace will be informed to the community to impose action against the defaulters. With positive cases rising all across the nation, the COVID-19 status of northeastern states are Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for news that matters and stories that inspire.